what's up folks I just had like a I don't even know if it was a job interview the guy showed me the building all he did was show me the building got like 3,000 steps dang 3,400 steps just by walking around this damn place. Which is pretty cool. It's a cool casino. Uh, basically needs a maintenance supervisor or a manager. It's a tough task. It's challenging. There's going to be some management. Uh, there's going to be some organizing getting shit together it's going to be lots of cleaning up lots of it's all a challenge it's all a task that could take a while um i know i'm up for it i know i'm up for the challenge even though it's not a dream job not a dream location uh maybe it's something that i could take and handle but the initial figure that went up wasn't wasn't uh, very motivating. It's hot as shit in here. So I don't know. Uh, basically, the the offer. Basically, it was an offer. It wasn't even an interview. I don't think it was more of an offer showing me around yeah I see yeah that. I knew that was gonna happen so I am uh, gonna think about it because currently I make zero dollars so I don't know. I got a lot of thought to think about. One thing is my living uh, situation. This is one of those mountain towns that doesn't have a lot. Um, I don't know where the National Forest starts. So I'm going to go get on the computer and look and see what's the closest place where I can camp. Also, what I would need to sh I would need a bathroom, a shower. Now. I also mentioned to this guy that would it be weird if I slept in the parking lot. They have a huge parking lot, like multiple levels, four-story parking lot. Parking is hard to come by in places like this, so they have a lot of parking. And uh, I asked if I could park there to sleep. Like that would be that would be cool. Uh, he mentioned about. Uh, He'd check out. He checked that out. Uh, also, he may be, be checking out uh, the number he threw out to see how accurate that is. Hmm. Anyways, so that's why I'm wearing this. My new polo that I got, I got a job near you. Now I don't know where I'm going. I spent a week in, 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 in suburbia, in luxury, sleeping on a bed and having air conditioning. Uh, now I want to, now I don't know where I'm gonna go. Again, I need to look at a map. Uh, I didn't know how long this would be. It's two o'clock, man. I mean, I got here at 11. 11 to 12, yeah, it's three hours. So, I got work to do. I got work to do with my book. I got work to do. Uh, I haven't done anything all morning. Except drive here and... Interview. Uh, I'm not going to Texas like I thought I was, which is 
kind of good because I don't have a fishing license in Texas. Nor do I in New Mexico. I have a fishing license here. And I like fishing here. So any any time I out of this state takes me away from fishing in this state. So I'm glad for the change of plans. Uh, also, what else? What else was I gonna talk about? Fishing. Oh, I'm going to. I think I'm gonna get my Colorado license, driver's license. To be, in order to get a resident hunting license, you need proof that you're a resident. Proof that you're a resident is uh, a driver's license, basically, that's older than six months. In order to get that, you need to have proof of physical, 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 something. I need proof that, I've, that I live in Colorado. Which is kind of hard when you live in a van, but luckily for me, I uh, made a switch on my, when I switched insurance on this thing, I changed the address, and I got renter's insurance, so that was cool. I changed the address, and those two policies will serve as proof. Also, uh, mail, I've been getting receiving mail at the same address, my buddy's house. So... I should be able to get a driver's license. Once I get a driver's license, once it's six months old, that will serve as my proof of uh, residency. And then, oh, also, I've worked in Colorado, so I'll pay stub with that address. I think Colorado's gonna be my home. And I was telling the guy that was interviewing me that my goal is to, as he said, there's condos and apartments that for rent up here. I'm like, man, all right. If I'm doing anything, I'm upgrading my van. Like, I'm getting a better van. But I need to, uh, I think hunting is gonna, you know, my fishing license is a little expensive, but the hunting uh, uh, tags, the hunting licenses are like almost five times as much, three to five times as much if you're not a resident. Uh, my only concern is winter in Colorado. I don't know. I don't know if I wanna winter in Colorado. If I have a job, it doesn't matter. I'll have to. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to go get my second cup of coffee, settle down, get some work done on the computer, and then maybe head out somewhere. I am not too far from Nederland, which it puts me right 18 miles above Boulder. Like, I don't want to go that way. I want to go that way. I want to go fishing. So I'll have to check it out. Uh, the status of the job is he is going to uh, contact the GM, maybe contact the owner. I believe it's only one owner with investors. And bring up the things, probably bring up the pay, probably bring up, bring up like uh, allowing me to park in the parking lot and uh, I really this is a lot a lot a lot of work and I can see how much of a burden it is on this man because he has other facilities that he's in charge of so everything's in my favor when it comes to when it comes to whether I want the job or not I think it would be cool. I think it would be. I think it would, it would be challenging. I don't know if my heart is in it, but well, I'll have to figure it out. My whole time up here, I thought they were gonna offer me a lot more money, 
And then I thought my challenge was going to be to, if I'm going to take a job for a lot of money or not. And that got me thinking about what my goal is and what my plan is. Right, my long-term goal. And they got me thinking about suffering and in, in life, and life is suffering. I don't know, that's another, that's another uh, video. But I'm thinking that there's no such thing as life without suffering. Everybody's suffering at some point, some way. Even rich people, like we all think that that's the answer, that money is the answer. Even rich people suffer. They need some obstacle, they need something challenging, and that's why they start new businesses or do new things. Is there such thing as life without challenges? Is there such thing as an easy life? Like, what the fuck are we striving for? To swing on a hammock every day and drink margaritas? I don't know. So I got me thinking and thinking about that what I want is to not owe anybody any money. So I have three mortgages, three rental properties. Also, I want to buy a piece of property near or on a piece of water and then allow people to come and park their vans there so they can camp, stay for a night or two or however long they want, provide some type of van life, a uh, place for people to gather. I don't know, what's the worst could happen? I own a nice piece of land on a river. I think it's a good thing, a motivating goal. Like, why am I trying to earn money? Like, I need something more serious. I need something more long term. I need something, I need a reason to earn the money that I'm earning or gonna earn or whatever. Anyways, I gotta go do some shit. And I'm going to try, this is a, uh, I keep forgetting the name of this town. I forget. But Black, Black Hawk. Black Hawk is the next town over. It's just a couple minutes away. Uh, I think they got a coffee shop there. Starbucks. I wasn't gonna. I said coffee shop because I want to say Starbucks, but they got Starbucks there. Hey man, I need my internet. I need some. I need to get some work done. I need some chow too. I'm hungry. Oh, I got some food in here. Anyways, that's it, folks. Um, I'll keep you posted and what have you. And I'm going fishing. Maybe I won't have internet. Who knows? But I'll talk to you guys later.